God bless you all. Many people don't know this, and many people do, but are not ready. It's going to be a great event, an event that will last forever. It's Christ picking up his people. What a great day that will be. But notice this, he will pick up his people, those who follow the Lord truthfully, having faith and belief in him, God. He wants everyone to know that he loves them, that he is with them in their troubles, that he can give them eternal life in him. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. We can only go to this event in Jesus. Now, some of you might be asking, but how? Well, brothers and sisters, Jesus made a way for us. God sent his only and beloved son to the world to save us from sin, John 3, 16. Not only that, but also to show us how to walk. He died on the cross for our sins. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. It says in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, God is right now preparing eternal life through what Jesus did for each and one of us. Jesus says, follow me. Anyone can be in this event. All you have to do is accept Christ into your life and follow him. Now, we are going to make mistakes along the way because we are not perfect. But ask the Lord for forgiveness and pray and watch the Holy Spirit start working in you. He will guide you, teach you. He will always love you, give us strength through weak times and so much more. For in 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 11 says, Seek the Lord and the strength Seek his presence continually. Also, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now, the great event. I had a dream. And in the dream, I saw the world. I saw sexual immorality. About riches, but not of the kingdom of God. Earthly power. Earthly possessions. Anger, hatred. False things being spoken. Idolatry. Witchcraft. Even babies were being sacrificed. And so much more wicked things were happening. But then God showed me there was a lot of Christians. But only few of were actually looking for God truthfully. I remember a verse that goes, Enter through the narrow gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many will enter through it. By Matthew chapter 7 verse 13. All of a sudden I heard a trumpet. And a loud voice came came from the heavens with authority saying, Come! Then the people who were dead came to these gates. Then the people who were alive, angels came and picked them up. They were full white and bright like a flashlight. Then I was in this place. And God gave everyone a new body that was internal and holy. It was like skinny. He gave the people white tunics and dark brown sandals. All of a sudden, Jesus came. He has brown wavy hair type, a little bit above the shoulder. He was wearing a white tunic and dark brown sandals. But his clothing was different from everyone else. Then we were at a city where it had golden streets, but it was like... Look clear in a way. I looked up. It was, has the sky blue with clouds. I saw a house that looked like Israel, but different. Brothers and sisters, I saw a very long table where everyone was happy. There was food that looked like lamb, grapes, mana. The bread that God sent to Moses and the Israelites when they were asking for food. Um... Vegetables and fruits. There was like grape juice and wine in a way. Everyone looked at happy, joyful, but most of all, God was there. Then I went back to the earth and they put newspapers about many disappeared. But they were speaking lies about the rapture, saying aliens took us. Then a man on a throne. He was so bright. I fell bowing down. He said, tell the world I love them. 
but it's the final hour. I am about to pick up my people. Tell them to repent and come humbly to me, and I will forgive them. Change them. I am always with them. Angels were praising him, saying, He is the King of kings and Lord of lords, the most highest. That's the end of my dream. Just want to tell you Jesus loved you all. And now is the time to come to him. If you want to Christ to come into your life, say this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I understand I am a sinner. I believe you died for my sins. Right now, I want to accept you in my life. And clean me. Completely from all my sins. Open the door of my heart and life and make me new. Please write my name in the book of life and teach me how to walk in your path. I confess you as my personal Lord and Savior. Amen. God bless each and one of you, and remember, Jesus loves you.